Hey there, Hearts Academy family. Mr. Vanell, Hearts Academy Technology Coordinator, here to tell you how to reset or set your school email address, uh, pa school email address password. Um, the first step in doing this is you need to go get some information. Um, returning students, just check your student ID, or you know your student ID already, or uh, or your student um, information, your student ID number, um, and new students. Uh, check with your counselor or, or um, teacher, you'll, we'll have this information. You need your student ID number, which is a six digit birthday plus letter for gender plus three numbers. So to memorize it, all you need to do is remember those last three numbers. Um, some new students might have the X student ID number, which is apparently random. You have there's an X instead of a, a gender letter and numbers that aren't your birthday. Um, most student ID numbers of the district are the are in this format. Then you need a four-digit PIN. You need that to reset your email address. And then when you enter your when you go into the system, you have to enter the birthday in exactly this format. So, next step is you go to uh, the website, which is I always put this here. Here's the search. I don't search. You just put the address right into right into the address bar. Yes. MyLogin.net, and you end up here. Click on Student, click on Activate Your Account, and then you can read through this information. This is the re responsible use policy. I agree, accept, and then here we are. Student uh, district ID is 010105, and I've written one in already. Let's say that's F123. Then birthday is 01. Oh, on 2005. So you have to write it in with uh, the slashes and the zero ahead. If you're ja January to September, you need the zero ahead of the, the month day, month number. And then your PIN. And then when you try, and of course, I th these are all fake, and this is all fake information. So if I click next, it gives me this, you know, you've provided the wrong information. When you do it, you'll go through and you'll see uh, a place to put in your password and a place to to um, re-enter your password and your password must have at least 10 characters it must have at least one special character except for these you can't use any of those excuse me but you have you can all you must have a special character it has to have one number and one uppercase letter uh, you can't use like password password one one two three four or a string of characters that are the same, AAAA or BBBB or something like that. Um, you can't use your username and, or email address for your password, and the new password and the confirm password, like always, must match. This list of requirements will be in, the once you click through, there will be a little window for where you put your password in, and these rules will be there, plus a little video about this exact same thing. You can't, ha you have to follow these rules to set your password. Once you set your password up, then you'll anywhere from immediately to 15 minutes your password will be through the system and you can log on to the different uh, different um, uh, apps for LUSD um, because it's this is called a single sign-on you can sign on to Schoology with this password you can sign on to your Google Docs with this password and have access to all the Google um, applications you can sign on to your Microsoft applications so, and that you go to live.com and you can, or office365.com and sign in. If you are, uh, on a side note, if you are using Windows, uh, a Windows or Macintosh to access the school resources, you can actually download the Office 365 apps onto your computer. But you have access, everybody has access to them through uh, the live.com. So you, you access all the Microsoft, lots of Microsoft apps that you can use as a student in the district. Anyway, that's it. So you, you sign on, you need your student ID and your PIN. Um, when you sign on, you have to follow these rules to set your password and you go to mylogin.lusd.net and sign in there and, and reset your password there. And that's it, thank you very much.